Hello viewers, our today topic is present perfect, a structure, subject plus have plus have or has or third form of the verb. This is very important topic. You should know the structure of the tense and then you should know the function of the tense. If you don't know the structure of the tense and function of the tense, then we can't speak. And if we speak, then or English may not be intelligible. So the function of the tense is very important, especially for those students who want to who want to be English student or to be teacher or they they want to do some great job in the realm of English. So in, tense is not an easy task. It seems to be easy, but it is difficult. But this video will make present perfect easy. So I will discuss in detail nine functions of present perfect. It is the first function which is very important. All of you know present perfect use to indicate an action completed in the immediate past. The first function of present perfect it, it is used to indicate an action completed in the immediate past. Suppose example I have just received your letter. So something happened in past but in immediate past. I have just received your letter just received your letter it mean in immediate past so whenever you see keyword just then decide that you can use present perfect not past simple okay function number two or pre present perfect is used to describe an action happened to an specify time before now function number two is used to describe an action happened at an unspecified time before now examples given i have heard these songs many times i have heard these songs many times try to understand the use with the help of the given examples. You can see function number three. This tense is used to indicate periods of time that began in the past and is continuing. So sometimes we use present perfect for an action, okay, in which you can feel periods of time that began in the past and is continuing. Suppose someone says that he has admitted in hospital. So we think that this person is still in hospital. I have been in Karachi. So it means or I have lived in Karachi for 10 years. So, so you can see this example. Ehtisham Saad has lived in Karachi for 10 years. It means Ehtisham Saad is still living in Karachi. Ehtisham Saad is still living in Karachi. Now the next function. This tense is used to talk about an action that has happened over a period of time. Or we can say that it is used to talk about a change that has happened over a period of time. So present perfect is used to talk about change that has happened over a period of time. You can see example. Example will explain the definition. The government has become more interested in arts education. The government has become more interested in arts education. So it means change is here. Function number five, 
This tense is used to talk about several different actions took place in the past at different times. This present perfect tense is used to talk about several different actions took place in past at different times. Suppose a number of action may be there. I have seen Karachi, Lahore, Faisalabad, and so on. So, this is one example. You can see your own example in your video. I have taught English in Pakistan, Dubai, and Saudi Arabia so far. I have taught English in Pakistan, Dubai, and Saudi Arabia so far. Okay. So now you have one more function present perfect use to talk about an action took place in past and extended to the present. It means that an action took place in past and it has been extended to the present. I have been ill for 10 days. I have been teacher of English for 10 years in Saudi Arabia. Uh, you can see your own example here. I have been ill for 10 days. The next function. It is used to list accomplishments of human beings. Suppose we say man has seen skies, man has visited moon, man has walked on the moon. Now enjoy your final function. Your final function for present perfect it is used to give suggestions that someone is still waiting for the action to happen. Sometimes we want to listen about an action end. Suppose we can say that he has still to come. He has or we can say that the rain, the rain has stopped yet. The rain has stopped yet. The rain has not stopped yet. Or uh, Ali has not reached yet. Like human beings, tenses have their own identification, their own structure, and their own function. As human beings do their own function according to their services. Okay. So in the same way the tenses have their own function. One tense is limited to one function and another tense is limited to another function. Suppose if we say I always come to school it means it shows my habit. If I say I am coming, it means I am on the way and an action is going on. But we have some clues to identify as we identify different people. Okay, so we have just so far up to now. So always remember these keywords lately just now up to now recently till yet these keywords may help you to use or to identify present perfect okay whenever we use present perfect we can use i have just reached so far i have seen i will meet i i have done it lately and so on.